We finally have the long-awaited variant of Shiver and Scorch. I absolutely cannot wait to obtain this new mythical epic. I have determined that it is my second favorite mythical epic, just falling short behind Mag Mayhem. Our Wizard Watch description reads, A new mythical epic has appeared. Meet the Twin Dragons Splash and Spark, now available from May 1st to July 31st. I've got to admit, when I first read this, I did a double take because I thought that it was a shortened time since they don't usually put the amount of time in the Wizard Watch posts, but no, it's still three months. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. Perfection at its finest. So it looks like we need to collect four Dragon Scales, five Shell Horns, and six Eel Toys. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Buzzra is now unobtainable. And for some reason, Vega Bloom cannot be seen on here because they have not added the fourth page yet. One thing to point out here is that the icons for the shell horns and the eel toys have been switched up. Clearly, the eel icon goes with the eel toy. This is not the first time that this has happened. This happened with one of the previous mythical epics. I cannot remember which one. All right, let's get into a more suitable outfit. Alright, now let's begin hunting for Prodigy's 19th mythical epic, Splash and Spark. So we are going to Skywatch for the Dragon Scales. Unfortunately, we start out with nothing. Still nothing. Alright, so we now have one out of four dragon scales. Nice, the second one. We're halfway there. I am sorry for the lack of audio, it will be back soon. Nothing in that one. Let's see if we can find what Ula has to say about Splash and Spark. Oh, okay, here's one. One is brave, the other is bold, and they never back down, or so I am told. There should be two more. Two heads are better than one, that's why this mythic is so much fun. I'm sorry if my microphone sounds off sometimes. I've been having microphone problems recently. Alright, the final quote. These two siblings are as close as can be and do battle together in harmony. And, of course, we are not gifted with another dragon scale. We're running out here. Great, only one more to go. I really hope we can get the last one here. Unfortunately not. So we are left with three out of four dragon scales. Let's move on to the shell horns. Once again, we start out with nothing. That's never a very good feeling. Oops. I don't have a very good feeling about this.
All right, yes, the first shell horn, finally. Great, the second one. And a third one? Wow, the tide's changed. My goodness, we might could actually get this one. Wow, it actually happened. We went from getting none to getting all five in a row. Let's go tame with Ula. As usual, we will be doing the taming battle after we try to collect the final task. Alright, the first eel toy. Well hey, I saw we just got the second one. Nice, a third one. In order for me to complete this task, I would have to get one from this crate. Let's see if I do. Unfortunately, I do not. I won't be completing this task. Okay, so it looks like we got four out of six eel toys. Now it is time to do the one taming battle that we have unlocked. So taming battles look like they are a lot different with the battle update. You get to use your pets with you now, and it does not seem like you have a limit for turns. Also, Splash and Spark has a lot of hearts. But as I have said, it looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. Let's finish this thing off. So I ended up needing one more dragon scale and two more eel toys. That should be doable in the next couple of days, so part two of this tutorial will be coming out very soon. What do you think about Splash and Spark? How far have you gotten on its quests? Let me know in the comments.